Have you or someone you care about ever suffered with depression? And if so, what are the things that you most hated about it? I started writing a list for this video and I think I could list like a hundred things, um, but I'm going to keep it to the top five uh, for the sake of brevity, but I would love to hear yours too in the comments below. One of the things I do hate about depression, and I'm sneaking this in as a sneaky number six, is how alone it can make you feel. Um, and actually sometimes just hearing that other people go, oh yeah, I have felt just that way too, can actually be quite reassuring and good. <laughs> okay, so five things I hate about depression. Um, number one for me is that it hurts, like it physically hurts. So there's the emotional pain and there's the kind of the, the very difficult thoughts and feelings and all that sort of thing. But actually for me, depression physically hurts. So I have an issue with my feet um, and I have chronic pain because of that. And actually when I'm doing okay, when my mental health is doing okay, then my feet feel broadly okay. I mean, they hurt all the time, but they hurt at like a two or a three. When I'm depressed, when depression really takes grip, then that pain goes through the roof and I'm kind of on a constant six, seven, eight. Um, it also gets worse when I can't sleep, which again, depression can really mess with. I think it's that it takes quite a lot of just resilience for me to kind of manage that pain. I think it must be a thing I'm doing all the time. Um, and that when my resilience is low, when my mental health is poor, when I haven't had enough sleep and things are generally hard, my feet hurt. So it hurts. Yeah, depression hurts. That's one of the things I hate about it. Number two of things I hate about depression is it makes really easy things feel absolutely impossible. So I have days where my aim for the day is get out of bed, get dressed, get showered, maybe in a different order than that, brush your hair. And that can feel like climbing a mountain. You know, there are days when I can literally conquer the world. I do amazing things. But on the days when depression really takes grip, the tiniest things, like getting out of bed just to, to, to get breakfast, to talk with my family, who I love, everything, everything feels hard. And then, you know, if I try and carry on and do kind of normal things, if you like work things or friend things, they're just, yeah, everything feels so hard. Basically, it makes everything feel really hard. I hate that it makes everything feel really, really hard. <laughs> Number three, which is kind of somewhat linked to number two, is that depression makes it really hard to do the things that you know will help you. So for example, I know that if I get up and I get out and I walk my dog, I will feel infinitely better than before I did that. However, when depression really takes grip, getting up and out and walking the dog is, whoa, really hard, really, really hard. Again, I know simple things, taking a shower, putting on clean clothes, that'll make me feel better. Can I do it on a really, really down day? Not always, no. And that's really hard because you end up in this cycle of kind of beating yourself up because actually you think, well, why can't I do the things that I know will make me feel better? They always make me feel better. I've written myself a, you know, help myself on a down day list and it's right there, but I can't do it. And so then you think, well, why can't I do it? I'm so stupid. I'm so, you know, and, and yes, and so it continues. Um, and so there's this, yeah, really, really difficult cycle. I know it'll help. I can't do it. Why can't I do it? I must be a terrible person kind of a thing. Yeah, you get the idea. Number four, things I hate about depression is it makes you so tired all the time. And sometimes that's to do with you're getting bad quality sleep. But I've had times when I have slept and slept and slept and slept and slept and slept and you wake up and you're tired and you go to bed and you're tired and you're tired. <laughs> You're just so bone crushingly tired and you're tired in a physical way, but also in kind of a mental way. Like you're just completely exhausted with life. It's yeah, it, it, it's tiredness. Like, I, I don't know. It, it's made me really enjoy the tiredness that comes from physical exertion. So many of you will know that I love to climb. And if I go and have a really good climb and then after that, I feel really like tired to the core in a physical way. I kind of really love that. But the, the tiredness that comes with depression is, yeah, really different. It's really, really unpleasant. And it's so difficult as well, because again, if I feel tired after a climb, then I know, you know, go to bed, have eight hours sleep. I'll feel great tomorrow. With depression, it's not like that. It's not like go and get some good sleep and then you'll feel better. You just just tired, 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 tired. Number five of things I hate about depression is that it totally messes with the way you think. It can make you really kind of interpret things in a really negative way. It can make you kind of catastrophize about things. It makes you think that people are judging you in a certain way. It makes you judge yourself in the wrong way. You're basically, you, you 
kind of can end up really turning in on yourself and really over analyzing everything and maybe that's partly for me about where depression and anxiety sort of cross over but that kind of yeah really thinking everything's my fault and um, I can't do anything right I'm worthless I have no future I'm a failure everything you name it those thoughts are going on and even when someone tries to help to reason with you it just doesn't touch at all and you're constantly kind of listening out for uh, not in a conscious way but you're subconsciously listening out for things that back up your view of the world and of yourself this hopeless being um, and you hear things all the time that seem to back that up but any good stuff just flies straight by you just don't notice it you kind of yeah you've got these faulty thinking patterns these cognitive distortions that mean that yeah your thinking is wrong and you're finding things that back that up uh, all the time and very little that can dispute that because you're in this bubble that's impenetrable so yeah, it messes with your thinking and I hate that. And that also kind of, yeah, can feed this cycle of, of difficult thoughts, feelings, behaviours and make it really, really hard to sort of break out. So yeah, five things I really hate about depression. This feels like quite a negative video and um, I've got plenty of videos about things that you can do to, to help yourself, understanding more and that kind of thing. Um, but I guess if you're someone who is watching this, uh, who has experienced or is experiencing depression, perhaps it makes you feel a little bit less alone um, and understanding that these are symptoms of an illness and the other thing with depression is that it is really treatable so if you're watching this you feel that maybe you're a bit less alone this sounds a bit familiar do reach out do go to your GP see if you can get yourself some support because actually things can feel a lot better than this and um, they don't have to feel this way even just talking to the people around you can be a really good starting point but there are really good therapies really good medicines available so yeah don't suffer in silence. And if all else fails, um, pick up the phone or go online and speak to the Samaritans. They're absolutely brilliant if you're struggling. Okay, five things I hate about depression. I hope it was helpful. Bye.